Posmo card Suica card Posmo passport. Which one should you get? Are they sold out? What should you do? Watch to the end to hear updates of the Posmo and Suica card and tips on how to get unlimited travel for as cheap as $4 USD on the Posmo passport. Visiting Tokyo soon? Then this is a must-watch video for you. As you step off the plane and into Narita or Haneda Airport, all prepared to embark on an unforgettable journey through the vibrant streets of Tokyo, there's one essential companion you simply can't afford to overlook, the Posmo Passport. This is a special IC card with privileges only available to overseas tourists who are visiting Japan. You'll need to present your passport to get one. It's mainly used for traveling on trains and buses in Tokyo and the rest of Japan where IC cards are accepted. So if you see this IC sign, you can use the Posmo passport there. It can even be used for shopping at department stores, Starbucks, McDonald's etc. It's accepted almost everywhere. The Posmo passport is your gateway to a world of convenience and savings. Say goodbye to fumbling for loose change or struggling with ticket machines. How do you get one? You can only get it at 9 locations. So we recommend that you get it at Narita or Haneda Airport as soon as you land. Here's how to get it at Haneda Airport. At Haneda Airport Terminal 3 International Terminal, we need to go to the KQ line, present your passport to get one. Here's how. When you come out of the arrival exit, which is on the second floor, go straight. Look for the sign for the KQ line. Go straight but keep right. Tip! To the left is the counter for buying bus tickets or the limousine bus. Keep going straight to your right. All the way down the hall is the washroom if you need it. If you found this video helpful so far, please hit the like, Subscribe and comment and check out the affiliate links in the description. Go towards the right side. KQ line is to the right. The KQ Tourist Information Center is open from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. and it's closed here but you don't have to get the POSMO passport here, we'll show you where next. Go straight to the ticket gate to purchase the POSMO passport from the staff in blue uniform. You can purchase it from first train which is around 5 a.m. till last train which is around midnight. Here, you can see the sign for the POSMO passport and how much it costs. The counter only accepts cash. So it is very important that you come to Japan with at least 1,500 Japanese yen. The 1,500 yen will be loaded onto the card so you can start using it right away. Go up to the staff at this counter, they might not speak English, but you can point to the POSMO passport and show them your passport and cash. Then you should be able to get the POSMO passport. Note, you can only get one per person. At Narita Airport Terminal 1 train station, which is on floor B1, go to the Skyliner and Keisei Information Center between 7 a.m. to 9 p.m., or go to the Skyliner ticket sales counter when the information center is closed. Present your passport and 1,500 Japanese yen in cash, and you should be able to get the POSMO passport. What about the regular POSMO or Suica card? As of this video, both the regular POSMO and Suica card are not available due to a chip shortage. We've put links to the official website in the description so please check them for updates. Are there any benefits with using the POSMO passport? Yes, you can save money on buying all-day passes with them. It could be as cheap as $4 USD for unlimited travel for 24 hours in Tokyo if you get the Tokyo subway ticket. Find out how to get the Tokyo subway ticket with your POSMO passport in the next video. Thanks for watching.